All right, so in this problem, I have two to the power of three x minus one is equal to eight to the power of two x minus one. So I want to th find the value of x in this problem. So for my solution, I'm going to first start by rewriting my equation. So my equation was 2 to the power of 3x minus 1 is equal to 8 to the power of 2x minus 1. And what I'm going to first do is start by rewriting 8 here as 2 to the power of 3 because 8 is equal to 2 to the power of 3. So now I have 2 to the power of 3x minus 1 is equal to 2 to the power of 3 to the power of 2x minus 1. And the reason I did this is because now these two have the same bases. Both of these bases are 2, so it's going to be much easier to solve this equation. Now, if I have something in the form a to the power of m to the power of n, this is equal to a to the power of m times n. So in this case, we have 2 to the power of 3 to the power of 2x minus 1. And we can think of m as 3 and n as 2x minus 1. So this is going to be equal to a to the power of m times n, so 3 times 2x minus 1. So now I have 2 to the power of 3x minus 1 is equal to 2 to the power of 3 times 2x minus 1. And 3 times 2x minus 1, we simply have to distribute the 3. So we get 2 to the power of 3x minus 1 is equal to 2 to the power of 3 times 2x is 6x. And 3 times negative 1 is negative 3. Now, if I have something in the form a to the power of m is equal to a to the power of n, this means that m is equal to n meaning because both of these bases are the same and they're both equal to each other, this means th that the exponents are equal to each other as well. So meaning 3x minus 1 is equal to 6x minus 3. So we have a simple equation here. And to solve this, I'm going to first start by subtracting 3x on both sides. So I get negative 1 is equal to 3x minus 3. If I add 3, I get 2 is equal to 3x meaning x is equal to 2 over 3. All right, so in this problem, I have 3 to the power of x plus 3 to the power of x plus 3 to the power of x is equal to 333. So the first thing I'm going to do is factor out 3 to the power of x from my left-hand side. So now I have 3 to the power of x times 1 plus 1 plus 1 is equal to 333. Now for, I'm going to solve what's in my parentheses. So I have 1 plus 1 plus 1, that's equal to 3. So now I get 3 to the power of x times 3 is equal to 333. Now, we want to isolate 3 to the power of x here. And the way to do that is to get rid of this times 3. So I'm going to get rid of this times 3 by moving it to the right-hand side. And I'm going to do that by dividing both sides by 3. So now I get 3 to the power of x times, or sorry, 3 to the power of x is equal to 111. Now, if I take the log on both sides, I get log 3 to the power of x is equal to log 111. Now, if I have something in the form log a to the power of b, I can move this exponent of b to the front. So it's going to equal b times log a. So in this case, I have log 3 to the power of x, and I can move x to the front. So I get x times log 3 is equal to log 
111. Now if I divide both sides by log 3, these two cancel out, and I get x is equal to log 111 over log 3. Now, I can write my solution in two ways. The first of which is to actually divide log 111 by log 3. So log 111 divided by log 3, this is equal to 4.29. So this is one way I can write my solution. Now another way I can do this is if I have something in the form log A over log B, this is going to equal log base b of a. So this is another way of writing my solution. All right, so in this problem, I have 3 to the power of x times 5 to the power of x squared is equal to 15. So to solve this, I'm going to first start by rewriting 15 as 3 times 5. So now I have 3 to the power of x times 5x squared, 5 to the power of x squared is equal to 3 times 5. Now, I'm going to divide both sides by 3 to the power of x, as well as 5. So then, for my left-hand side, both the 3 to the power of x's cancel out. For my right-hand side, both the 5's cancel out. So now I get 5 to the power of x squared over 5 is equal to 3 over 3 to the power of x. Now, if I have something in the form 1 over a, this is the same thing as a to the power of negative 1. So 5 to the power of x squared over 5, that's the same thing as 5 to the power of x squared times 5 to the power of negative 1. And now this is equal to 3 times 3 to the power of negative x. Now, if I have something in the form a to the power of m times a to the power of n, this is equal to a to the power of m plus n. So, in this case, I get 5 to the power of x squared minus 1. And now this is equal to 3 to the power of 1 minus x. Now, if I take the log on both sides, I get log 5 to the power of x squared minus 1 is equal to log 3 to the power of 1 minus x. And if I have something in the form log a to the power of b, I can move this exponent b to the front, so it's going to equal b times log a. So in this case, I get x squared minus 1 times log 5 is equal to 1 minus x times log 3. And now, I'm going to take base 5 on both sides of both logs. So these cancel out to get 1. So now I have x squared minus 1 is equal to 1 minus x times log base 5 of 3. And this means that x squared minus 1 plus x minus 1 times log base 5 of 3 is equal to 0. And this gets me to x minus 1 times x plus 1 plus log base 5 of 3 is equal to 0. Meaning, this is one equation, x minus 1 equals 0, meaning x is equal to 1. And If you solve this, you get x is equal to negative log base 5 of 15.